Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another Star Wars action figure review. Now this one wasn't quite expected yet, um, so big thanks to Bulletproof Villain for hooking me up with this one. It was a it was a damaged damaged bubble. You know, that's just, it's unfortunately something that happens when uh, the the mailing box sort of get the shipping box they come in sort of gets a little bit mistreated. And unfortunately, we do have a couple of um, you do get a couple of defects every now and then. So he pass this one on to me knowing that I am one of those filthy filthy openers <laughs> but that's the point it's about getting these awesome toys out of the way so and uh, out of the packaging so yeah Bib Fortuna I've been uh, yeah looking forward to this one for a very long time long time uh, yeah loving the look at the card I wish they'd sort of gone and did something a little bit different like maybe have a little bit of um, Jabba's Palace in the backdrop but I guess they stayed faithful to the uh, vintage card, which is what they're what they're what they're doing with the uh, at least the original '96 these days. But um, you know, a little bit of a tweak would have been nice. So here's VC two two four, and uh, yeah, now just hanging out for Lobot and Boca Tan. So we're slowly getting getting these figures in, which is awesome. It's very very nice. So. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to looking forward to this one. Don't yet have the uh, Black Series version, but um, from what I've seen, this one is probably just a slightly little bit better, just because of the soft goods. But um, yeah, I look forward to comparing the two once the uh, Black Series one is in. But for now, I'm really excited to uh, swap out the old Power of the Force one, and uh, which I have been using my Jabba's Palace display for a long time now. And uh, I never got the Saga one. It just the price was too high, and it was always a case of oh, they'll they'll eventually do a super articulated, super awesome three and three quarter one. And here it is. So uh, yeah, let's crack it open and have a look. And here is Bib Fortuna out of the packaging, and this figure is just absolutely remarkable. I'm so so impressed with this one. He is so, so cool. Just fantastic. The soft goods, really nicely done. The, the sculpt of the figure, the detail, really nice. Um, I know a lot of those sort of early shots showed a lot of sort of blue sort of shading in amongst the head and stuff just to add a little bit of depth and shadow, but it's uh, really not that bad at all. Like it really is effective at what it does. It's offering that sort of depth in the um, Sort of highlighting some of the mould of the head too, and what is such a such an odd shaped skull? <laughs> I don't think I've ever really taken that in, to be honest. You know, it's very interesting for, look for a Twi'lek. Um, yeah, very different. But uh, yeah, the sculpt is remarkable. I'm loving the head sculpt. Let's have a look up there there we go now for me that's jumping right off the screen you know that's just absolutely fantastic nice posability those head tails do have a little bit of give in them so you're not really hindering the articulation in the head so you can sort of get him looking down at R2 the hands are cool he's got this sort of you know, he does a lot of does a lot of talking with his hands. Bit Fortuna is uh, a bit of a creep, <laughs> but yeah, they're nicely sculpted, nice sort of long talon fingernails. It looks great. I'm gonna see if it'll pop off that head easily. Yep. So yeah, just a double ball peg there. I'm gonna get a look at the body here. Focus. So yeah, taking a look, he's got that sort of armor plate on the t on the chest there. I assume that probably goes all the way over the back. Yep. And this other sort of gunmetal sort of plate around the around the waist there. So yeah, really nicely done. I really like the soft goods, like I said, this sort of layered pattern. Don't know why they decided to go with soft plastic for the Black Series one. Um, when they prove they could do it in soft goods and it looks great so we may as well just do it <laughs> the other way um, but 
never mind. This one might just come out on top for me if, uh, what's the Black Series one comes to me. I, I still think I may prefer this one. But yeah, soft goods sort of skirt down here, that sort of lower part of his outfit. And he is just uh, using the same legs as a Lobot, which is fine because, you know, it doesn't need to be anything special under there. I'm just assuming he is wearing pants under there, basically. So yeah, really, really nice figure, this one. Big Fortuna, fantastic addition. Definitely much needed. Um, long time, long time needed. So hopefully we start getting some more of these um, boxes ticked to these classic figures that have been, you know, really in need of upgrades and and stuff like that. So um, if you've got any more ideas for some, some characters that'd be upgraded, I'd love to, love to hear you thoughts in the comments so please drop them in the comments let me know what you think of Bib Fortuna I'm personally really really impressed um, no accessories that he comes with but that's okay you know it would have been cool to see his staff but technically he probably doesn't have that until uh, he becomes the uh, what do they call him the daimyo of Tatooine so yeah he's just at this point the major domo of Jabba the Hutt and yeah it hasn't yet acquired his staff but yeah, fantastic looking figure. Love the look of him. So good. Again, please let me know what you think. Drop a comment in the comment section. It's the only real place you can. Um, <laughs> but yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, and we'll see you on the next video. Till then, may the force be with you always. Thank <laughs> you.